Welcome to the 2023 HESI A2 Mathematics Practice Test. This test will have 20 questions with explained answers that will help you prepare for the test. Be sure to resuscitate the like button by turning it white. Question 1. What number is 75% of 600? A. 550 B. 450 C. 575 D. 375 The correct answer is... B. 450. 75% equals 75 divided by 100. 75% of 600 is 600 times 75 divided by 100 equals 45,000 divided by 100 equals 450. Question 2. 9 times 6 plus 2 divided by 1 equals A. 56. B. 22. C. 24. D. 35. The correct answer is D. 56. An easy way to remember the order of operations is P-E-M-D-A-S, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction from left to right. First, carry out the multiplication in the parentheses. 9 times 6 plus 2 divided by 1 equals 54 plus 2. Now we carry out the addition. 54 plus 2 equals 56. Question 3. Which of the following numbers is a factor of 54? A. 9. B. 8. C. 7. D. 4. The correct answer is A. 9. A number is a factor of another number if the first number can be multiplied by some integer to get the second number. Equivalently, a number is a factor of another number if the second number divided by the first number does not leave a remainder. In this case, 54 divided by 9 equals 6 evenly. None of the other numbers are able to be divided into 54 without having a leftover. Question 4. 96 times 45 equals A. 3,240 B. 4,320 C. 2,340 D. 4,430. The correct answer is B. 4,320. 96 times 45, 480 plus 3,840 equals 4,320. Question 5. Solve for X. 567 plus X equals 876. A. 151. B. 309. C. 271. D. 181. The correct answer is B. 309. 876 minus 557 equals X. X equals 309. Question 6. Which fraction is equivalent to the decimal 0 0.75? A. 7 eighths. B. 3 fourths. C. 5 eighths. D. 5 sevenths. The correct answer is B. 3 fourths. 3 divided by 4 equals 0 0.75. Question 7. Evaluate the expression 3a plus 2b plus 9 when a equals 2 and b equals 4. A. 21. B. 23. C. 24. D. 27. The correct answer is B. 23. 3 times 2 plus 2 times 4 plus 9. 6 plus 8 plus 9 equals 23. Question 8. Which of the following fractions is closest to 5 eighths without going over? A. 7 sixteenths. B. 9 twelfths. C. 7 elevenths. D. 2 fifths. The correct answer is A. 7 sixteenths. 5 eighths equals 0 0.625. 7 sixteenths equals 0 0.438. 9 twelfths equals 0 0.75. 7 elevenths equals 0 0.636. 2 fifths equals 0 0.4. 7 sixteenths is closest without going over. Question 9. John is on a weight loss journey. 
His bariatric physician told him that in order to qualify for the gastric sleeve surgery, he must lose 2.5% of his starting weight before the surgery can be performed. John's starting weight is 244 kilograms. How many pounds of weight must John lose in order to qualify for the gastric sleeve surgery? Remember, there are 2.2 pounds in each kilogram. A. 13 B. 14.24 C. 13.42 D. 15.32 The correct answer is C. 13.42 244 kilograms times 2.2 pounds equals 536.8 pounds, John's starting weight. 536.8 times 2.5% equals 13.42 pounds needed to lose to qualify for gastric sleeve surgery. Question 10. Braden spent $12.50 on lunch in the hospital cafeteria during his first week of work. The next week, he spent $17.60 on his lunch. The next two weeks, Braden spent $33.45 on lunch in the cafeteria. What is the average expenditure on lunch each week over the last four weeks? A. $63.55 B. $15.89 C. $31.78 D. $47.66 The correct answer is... B. $15.89 Total lunch cost over four weeks equals $63.55. $63.55 divided by four weeks equals $15.89 average per week. Question 11. 568.34 plus 834.345 equals A. 1,402.69 B. 1,401.79 C. 1,396.81 D. 1,397.98 The correct answer is A. 1,402.69 The sum of the two integers is 1,402.69. Question 12. Susan is on a weight loss journey. After six weeks, Susan lost 5% of her total body weight. If Susan's starting body weight was 187 pounds, how many pounds did Susan lose after six weeks? A. 8.75 B. 5.75 C. 9.35 D. 7.75 The correct answer is C. 9.35 187 times 5% equals 9.35, or 187 times 5 divided by 100 equals 935 divided by 100, and move the decimal from 935.00 over two spaces to make 9.35. Question 13. Amy is baking a cake. Amy needs four eggs for every two pounds of cake that she makes. If Amy has 56 eggs, how many pounds of cake can she make? A. 18 B. 28 C. 32 D. 16 The correct answer is B. 28 56 eggs divided by 4 eggs means that Amy can make 14 cakes. Each cake is 2 pounds. 14 times 2 equals 28 pounds. Question 14. Kate is working at a flu shot clinic today. She administered a total of 1,567 flu shots over a 14.25-hour period. How many flu shots did Kate average giving per hour? Round to the nearest whole number. A. 110 B. 109 C. 111 D. 114 The correct answer is A. 110 1,567 shots divided by 14.25 hours equals 109.96. Rounded to the nearest whole number equals 110. Question 15. How many inches are in 3 feet? A. 24 B. 36 C. 118 D. 28 
The correct answer is B, 36. There are 12 inches in a foot, therefore 12 times 3 equals 36 inches. Question 16. What is the equivalent to 0 0.0000003? A, 0.0000003%. B, 0.3%. C, 0.003%. D, 0.00003%. The correct answer is D, 0.00003%. When converting a decimal to a percentage, the decimal is moved two spaces to the right. Therefore, 0 0.00003 equals 0.00003% or 0 0.00000003 times 100 equals 0.00003%. Question 17. 4 fifths times 9 eighths equals A. 9 tenths B. 4 fifths C. 3 eighths D. 1 half The correct answer is a. Nine tenths. Four fifths times nine eighths equals thirty six fortieths. Divide thirty six divided by four and forty divided by four to get nine tenths. Question eighteen. Three fourths times eleven tenths equals A. Zero point seven five. B. Zero point nine two five. C. Zero point eight seven five. D. Zero point eight two five. The correct answer is D, 0 0.825. 3 fourths times 11 tenths equals 33 fortieths. 33 divided by 40 equals 0 0.825. Question 19. There are 256 candies in a jar. Approximately 67% of the candies are red and the rest are green. How many green candies are in the jar? Round to the nearest whole number. A. 67. B. 85. C. 48. D. 72. The correct answer is B. 85. 100% minus 67% will give you the percentage of green candies, which is 33%. There is a total of 256 candies. 256 times 33% equals 84.48 or rounded equals 85. Question 20. A prescription medicine has a dosage of 0 0.4 milligrams per kilogram per day divided into four doses per day. If a patient weighs 110 kilograms, how many milligrams of the medicine would be prescribed per dose? Round to the nearest milligram. A, 12. B, 11. C, 21. D, 34. The correct answer is B, 11. 0 0.4 milligrams times 110 kilograms equals daily dosage, so the patient will receive 44 milligrams of the medication per day. The question asks how many milligrams will the patient receive per dosage if the daily dosage is divided into four doses. 44 divided by 4 equals 11 milligrams per dose. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Check out these other videos that can help you with your future studies. Don't forget to resuscitate the like button and subscribe to our channel. And please share this video with your fellow nursing friends.